soup season is definitely here. And just the other day I made some roasted tomato soup with some fresh tomatoes I had. And I got it into the bowls and I thought, oh, this is so pretty and it smells so wonderful, but I just wish I had something to sprinkle over the top that would set it apart from anyone else's homemade tomato soup. And so I came up with this spicy little mixture of seeds and fragrant spices and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make and you can be certain that no one else will have a soup that looks and tastes just like yours. So I'm going to start with raw sunflower seeds and raw pumpkin seeds. Put those into a pan over medium heat and then come the fragrant spices. So I've got one teaspoon of fennel seeds and remember fennel seeds have that little bit of a licorice flavor and they're so good for your tummy too. A little bit of whole cumin seeds, and that adds a little bit of spice, a little bit of smokiness, and then about a quarter teaspoon of black peppercorns, whole peppercorns. So I'm going to put those into my pan, and it's over medium heat, and already I'm starting to smell those spices. What happens when you stir this over heat is that little bit of toastiness adds so much flavor to those dried seeds that we have in there. This mixture right now is so fragrant and I'm just starting to hear the little pumpkin seeds pop. So I'm going to take it off the heat and you can transfer it to a plate and just let it cool for a little bit before you put it into a food processor. Now you can also use a blender. Now, before I turn on the food processor, I'm going to add two more ingredients, some salt, probably about half a teaspoon of sea salt if you have it. And then I had some fresh thyme in my garden and so I'm just going to add some fresh thyme leaves. And be careful with the thyme because that's one of those herbs that can be really, really overpowering. So just a little bit. And then I'm going to give it a whirl. So it doesn't take long. You don't want this to become a powder. You just want it to still be a little bit crunchy and some seeds are a little bit fine. The pumpkin seeds, some of them are still whole. And this mixture, not only is it great on roasted tomato soup, but it's good on any of your squash soups. Sprinkle it into your salad. It's so handy and it'll stay for at least a week if you keep it covered in your refrigerator. So try this little fancy mixture to put on your soups. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.